What's up everyone, it's Real Cool Adventures and we had an awesome day. We caught a whole bunch of dolphins, the water was crystal clear, the weather was absolutely perfect and I'm here with Cam's family and we're going to jump into it and show you the action right now. here off Stewart, Florida in the middle of the Gulf Stream and we're looking for anything, any sign of life. We're looking for birds, large weeds, anything out of place, any structure that'll hold fish. And not only birds, Red Bull give you wings. We'll see you in a minute when we're catching fish. Now, what I'm doing is we've got a bait on the outrigger, another bait on the outrigger, and I have them fairly short. All these weeds are, are really close. We have to make nice sharp turns. So we keep these two baits fairly short. We've got one shotgunned out the back. That lets the boat maneuver in and out and around the weeds without the lines going over top of each other. Looks like a garbage dump up here. There's so many birds. What these birds are doing, they're doing a tight little circle. They're coming up and they're fluttering like this. So the fish are down below, they're chasing the flying fish up, and they're all working in sequence together until we come along and ruin it. All right, so right off the bat, we hooked up. First bait out. Cam's brother's on it. We're going to make a little right-hand turn and see if we can catch another one. We'll go ahead and reel him in. He's a small fish, got a small hook on there. So we'll be gentle with him, get him in the boat. So what we're doing now is we're gonna keep him off the side of the boat. We're gonna drag him over in the side. We're gonna see, he might not be big enough to keep, but we're gonna check him out. And then we've got these other lines in the water. And if he's got any stragglers, little buddies with us, They'll hit those lines. That's why we're keeping the boat moving forward. Keep bringing them in. Big enough? Yep. All right, we got the first fish of the day. You gotta be 20 inches. He's well over 20 inches. We're gonna throw him in the box, keep the boat moving, and we'll keep catching him. If you guys wanna catch fish, see that? Look down below. We've got t shirts for sale. It'll improve your fishing by 100%. Guaranteed by nobody. We We're out yesterday with Blue Gabe. We caught a ton of dolphin, limited out. You should check out that video. It should be up tomorrow. It's pretty cool. And we're in a little shallower. Today the wind blew, so we're out a little deeper. We got, tell me when, Cam. All right, we got birds. We're getting in the zone now. Okay, we just, Saw a few birds, something splashed up ahead. It's going down. Can't really see what's going on, but, whoa. It's fishy, it's definitely fishy. And another thing that's really crucial is good sunglasses. You've gotta have polarized sunglasses to really give you that advantage to see stuff. Especially the early morning and the low light conditions, it takes that glare off and really lets the depth go and you can see the fish underneath the weeds. The depth go, the go depth. Is that a word? What is? is that a term? The depth. Yep. The depth. The depth. We're in the depth. You know when my list when my list kicks in, I'm excited. My list. All right, we're not getting any bites. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up current of these these seagulls. We're gonna set up a drift and see if we can chum them up. 
get their attention because they're not biting anything we're trolling. When in doubt, switch it out. So we're using sardines to chum them up. They're nice and oily, they got a nice stench. We're gonna get them now. We got fish all underneath the boat, just trying to stay calm. They're not going anywhere. Completely switching everything up. So it's real crucial not to overfeed them. You can keep them around the boat like this forever. If you don't feed them too much, take your time, get all your tackle ready. And look at this. They're back. Ah, took my finger. But I don't want these little guys. I know there's some bigger ones, but further back, I'm gonna try to wing it. Here we are, we're back. I'm gonna show you a nice, fast, easy way to clean these peanut dolphins. First of all, whoa, you don't throw them off the dock like that. You just come in like this real quick. Just come right down here, just like that. Quick cut like that. And you just come like this. Basically, you're just barely cutting in that skin about a quarter of an inch, like so. Then, I like to take some needle nose pliers, and just grab a hold of that skin like that, and just pull it right off. It comes real easy. And it's crucial or critical that you keep that fish cold when you're doing it. It comes off a lot easier when it's cold. Now you're just gonna scratch it like so. Just come right down like the back, like that. Follow the spine out the back. It doesn't get any easier than that. So we're gonna turn that away from you. Flip it over, cut that bloodline out. Just go like this, feed that to the fish. And that's it. Bam. Nice dolphin filet. Fast, easy. We're gonna put these on ice. We'll see you in the kitchen. What's up everybody? This is another episode of Cooking with Cam. Mike's out back, he's finishing up cleaning all that dolphin that we caught earlier. So I figured I'd come in here and whip up a little mahi carpaccio with that dolphin that we caught earlier. Uh, it's real easy to make. It's kind of like a ceviche, but it's sort of like on the opposite spectrum because it uses dill instead of cilantro. Um, we still have lime, using an onion, blood orange, which is pretty cool, and some capers and some olive oil. All right, so we start off by cutting up the dolphin into really thin slices. All right, so now we have our mahi cut up and that looks awesome. So now it's time to add everything on top. And this is how it ended up. So let's take it outside and see how everybody likes it. All right, so while I was cleaning the fish, Cam came in and obviously you saw what he just made and we're gonna reverse rolls. Cam's gonna show you and explain it to you and you tell us what you think about this carpaccio. Dolphin, Dolphin carpaccio. mahi carpaccio yes. right now. Carpaccio. Carpaccio. I can't pronounce it properly. Apparently I can't do anything right today other than catch fish. We had a great time by the way. Thanks to Cam and his whole family and the girls were just crushed the catfish on the dock while we were cleaning the fish. And that was really cool. We'll but save that, that for another episode. And we'll save that for another episode. What do you guys think? 
<laughs> you want to do a, a catfish catch, clean, and cook one day? Yeah. Yeah? You sure? <laughs> okay, then we'll do that. That's what we're going to do. If you guys want to see these girls do a catfish catch, clean, and cook, give us a big th thumbs up, and we'll do that in the next episode. But for now, we're going to dive into this mahi capaccio. Close enough. I've been trying for like three yeah, hours. Yeah, Mike knows how to catch a fish. Let's, well, I'm trying to bring him a little culture. <laughs> Where is it? Right here. I'm gonna... Good luck. This is the part we switch it up. I'm gonna take the camera and Cam's gonna show you what he whipped up. Ah. And Merry Christmas, everybody. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Actually, it looks really good. It does. It looks delicious. Look at this. It does. Look at this. You know what? We might have to reverse these. The All right, just to uh, spruce it up a little bit. There we go. Add a little lime on top. Bam. Some pepper on it. Fresh. I already got it. Oh, okay. I already got it. There we go. Everybody. Ooh. Ooh. Can I try some of this? You may. You may dig in. All right. Here you go. Don't be shy. Man, I think tell, I, tell us I, what you think too. I think so I messed up by not trying this. You eat that, okay? No, this. You see the pink? Be brave. <laughs> Just go for it. Ew. Ooh, Cam, you got that nice and thin. Tell you what, it smells really good. And I'm gonna. It is really good. Okay, I'm not. So what'd you do? You sliced it really thin. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's good. Like I said, you can do this with fillet oh, too. You that's slice really it raw. as thin as you can. You ever, had ma you ever had mahi raw like that? No. Have I? This is better mm -hmm. than ceviche. I've had yeah. It. Yeah. This is not. Right. This tastes better. You like it raw? It's like orange. What's it? Right. Fruit, olive oil. You like it? Blood orange, olive oil. Orange. Little lemon. Lime, that's salt. Really that's raw fish. What do you guys? Caper. Caper. A little onion. Lime. You like it orange? That's it. Mm. Six mm. ingredients. Could have done you it with the dill. Do you want to bring this dill? to school? Also do that. Good. Yeah. You guys want to bring this to school in your lunchbox? Mm. Your teachers would like that. Did you try those? We have to have a climate-controlled yeah. lunchbox. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I like it. And if you're worried about the dolphin, I, I flash froze it too. So that is three of the weirdest flavors I've ever had. It's kind of unique. Yeah, That's it good. Is. And what's what's good the orange cracker. stuff? It's a blood orange. Blood orange. Oh, the blood orange. Okay. It's like ceviche, but without the bitter ceviche. It's better than ceviche. I know. Yeah. Want me to get you another one? Yeah, let me slide in. Yeah. Mm. The only thing I like that's in is Tom. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to finish off this plate. We had a great time. Thanks to Cam and his family. The girls for catching all the biggest catfish I've ever seen off the dock. And you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video because we had a blast. And we'll see you on the next adventure. One, two, three, Everybody like this video and make sure you subscribe to this channel.